But Monday was all about the Apple Watch. Apple shares, however, up only 0.4% on Monday. Investors not showing all that much enthusiasm. However, Mark New was very enthusiastically watching the event. He joined us now live from San Francisco, from just outside the event menu. Mark, this has been in the works for a while now. What are the details? That's right. I'm right outside the Yerba Buena Center for the Arts, where Apple just showed off more details about the project it's been working on for so long, the Apple Watch. Of course, in true Apple form, there were a few surprises in today's product lineup, but for the most part, much still remains a mystery. Addition to the Apple family. Apple CEO Tim Cook announced Apple's latest baby, the Apple Watch, will go on sale in many countries like the U.S., China, Japan, and the U.K. on April 24th. Prices range from $350 to more than $1,000 for high-end stainless steel versions. And diehards will even be able to get an 18 karat gold and sapphire crystal edition for $10,000. And the Taptic engine alerts you by tapping your wrist so that you can read and respond to that message instantly if you want. You can also, with the built-in speaker and microphone, you can receive calls on your watch. I have been wanting to do this since I was five years old. And the day is finally here. Apple CEO Tim Cook says the Apple Watch is the most personal device the company has ever created. The hope is that customers will use the watch to communicate in ways they've never communicated before. Did you feel it? Yep. Key features include the ability to feel pressure, customize the face, and send a drawing or even your heartbeat to another user in real time. The whole form versus function. Different people buy these types of devices for different reasons. Some people buy a watch purely as a fashion statement. Some people buy, you know, a smartwatch more as a functionality statement. Apple's trying to meld both worlds, and the question is, does that mean it's a little watered down for one and, and you know, versus the other? And, and Apple went all out in touting how the Apple Watch and the iPhone plan to revolutionize health and fitness. It unveiled Research Kit, a way to allow users to offer their data to research facilities to better study diseases like diabetes, Parkinson's, and cancer. There is nothing more sensitive than your medical data. You decide what apps you participate in, what research you participate in. You decide how your data is shared and Apple will not see your data. It certainly adds kind of a, a social good to using the device. Um, and, and the research kit, it's really, really interesting to see how much that can go as they have more and more people using, uh, using these services. Most analysts still feel the star of the event was actually the MacBook laptop. Apple unveiled a new version that's only two pounds, with a larger keyboard and trackpad that have sensors which can perform different functions based on how hard you press. Mark, uh, Mark, any key concerns about the Apple Watch that Apple finally managed to address at this event? Uh, did investors get some solace on that front? And were there any issues that Apple failed to address? One of the big questions was battery life. People were, weren't sure what they are going to come up with because they're packing so much into such a small device. Some people thought it would be just a few hours, not necessarily a day. But Apple came out and surprised everyone and said it will last 18 hours. It remains to be seen because a lot of companies have made promises before and never lived up to that. We'll find out in about a month. One thing they did not clarify was the upgrade policy. Uh, this is not the same as a watch. I mean, you may invest in a Rolex for tens of thousands of dollars and you expect to hold on to that for generations or at least tens of decade, decades. Here, you've got something that you could pay $10,000 for, and then the next version comes out, what do you do with it? You've invested a lot already, but they haven't clarified what's going to be the trading value or what kind of policy when you return it or go to the next version. Michelle. That's a great point, Mark. Thanks so much. Mark New, live from San Francisco. Yeah.